Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Fia and Robert Vidal. This is a game from Chess Olympiad, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Alexander Fia had white pieces and he started with knight to f3, intending to play the ready opening. Maybe. d5, c4. d takes on c4. Knight to a3 attacking the pawn a6 intending b5. Knight takes on c4, b5. Knight to e3, bishop to b7. g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, e6. And Alexander Fia castled king's side. Bishop to e7, b3. And Vidal castled king's side too. Bishop to b2, c5. Queen to c2. Knight from b to d7, rook from a to c1, h6. After 12 moves have been played, both players are happy with their openings. Rook from f to d1, rook to c8, lining the rook with the black queen. Queen to b1, queen to b6, white to move. Queen to a1, g7 pawn is the potential target. Rook from f to d8, h3, bishop to f8, d3, bishop to c6. So far, it was a quiet game. But now, Alexander Fia decided to make it a bit more interesting. He played knight to g4. Knight takes on g4, h takes on g4. Queen to b7, e4 a5 intending a4 or maybe b4 or maybe c4 why to move what would you do alexander here played g5 using a double pawn as a battering ram h takes on g5 knight takes on g5 but what can the knight alone do to the black king a4 bishop to h3 perhaps the purpose of this move is to play bishop takes on e6. And after pawn takes bishop, knight takes on e6. Maybe. Rook to e8. More support to the pawn. White to move. This is a very important moment of the game. When player with the white pieces came up, a very interesting plan. He played this brilliant move. King to g2, I know, I know, it looks very ordinary, but the idea behind the move is awesome. A takes on b3, why to move? How would you continue? Please pause and try to find the best move for it. I know, most people would play pawn takes pawn on b3, do you agree? There was a surprise. Rook to h1 was played. c4. If b takes on a2, we would have the same response as in the game. c4. Threatening c takes on d3. What would you do? Which pawn to take? The pawn on b3, the pawn on c4, or something else? Please suppose and try to guess this awesome move that Alexander Fia played. Did you pause? What did you find? Alexander Fia played bishop takes on e6. Is this a good move? Rook takes on e6. What was the idea behind the bishop sacrifice? Please pause again and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find knight takes rook? This is another move played in the game. The move in the game was Are you ready? Are you really ready? The move is rook to page 8 check and black resigned. Believe it or not. Why? After king takes rook, then rook to h1 check, 
And after king to g8, rook to h8, another check. Can you see what is happening? King takes rook, the only move. And now, queen to h1 check. If king goes to g8, there is checkmate in one. And if rook to h6, then queen takes on h6 check. The pawn on g7 is pinned. After king to g8, queen to h7, check, mate. Wow, what a dramatic combination in the end. And it came from a seemingly quiet opening. I find it fascinating that all the heavy pieces were on the queen side and at a lightning speed they appeared on the king's side. So let's go back to this quiet position. From this... To this in a flash amazing isn't it this is the best game from the round two what else can we say about this game well i can add that alexander fear had no fear what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now